I live in the most beautiful part of the world. I've spent all my life in the countryside. To have ended up in a niche where I'm painting British wildlife, I'm absolutely in my element. At the age of 14, my mum went to art school. and She had a portfolio. As a child, I got that portfolio out from the cupboard under the stairs. I thought it was the most amazing thing. I went to art college, I studied graphic design and then specialised in illustration. But then I wanted to work beyond the page, if you like. So I started experimenting in a much bigger way. One of the joyful things that I do throughout the day is setting the studio up and scooping a beautiful dollop of paint out onto your table. It's like a symphony of colour. The art doesn't want to look laboured, it wants to look vivacious and I tend to be quite an energetic person and I try and get some of that energy into the paintings. I think there's a journey of being an artist. You have real highs and real lows. It's not that every piece goes according to plan. And I cannot leave that canvas until I can step back and think, yeah, now that's working. The animals that I paint tend to have character. The inspiration comes from me seeing something that I know will translate into a painting that's got real gravitas. I focus in onto the eye and then kind of build out from it. If you've got the life in the eyes and they're connecting with you, you immediately get something back from that painting. All the things that I've experimented with over the years, I've developed to a point where I just feel like I'm a pure painter. If you're in a family where there's always art and there's always colour and creativity, that's what inspired me to become an artist.